Could this be the worst $3,000 sneaker to ever hit the market? Today, we're gonna to be talking about the CPFM Fleet One. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, giving you guys in-depth reviews, and especially going over interesting ones like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, in typical fashion, we're gonna talk about the history of this sneaker first, and then we'll be taking some detailed looks at the sneaker so you guys can see what it looks like all around on both shoes, and all the accessories and things that come along with it. After that, we'll cover my thoughts and opinions, resale prices, and everything like that. And like always, shout out to Untitled, LA for sending me these. I saw they posted them on their Instagram and I was like, bro, you guys gotta send me a pair so I can review these because I'm just so interested with all the details and materials. Now, I'm not sure if this is a sneaker for me, but I do know a lot of y'all were interested in seeing this shoe. So now I'm bringing you guys the review. So with that being said, let's get into the history. Cynthia Liu is the original creator and designer of CPFM, also known as CactusPlantFleaMarket.com. She used to be an intern at Complex and then went to work for Pharrell Williams for Billionaire Girls Club. After that, January 1st, 2015, Cactus Plant flea market dropped and ever since then we have seen more and more collaborations over the years especially with nike and a lot of people remember the swarovski nike dunks right here this right here is one of my grail sbs i love this shoe but we got to talk about these ones because <laughs> these are very interesting to say the least so now that we know a little bit about the history let's take it to the studio all right so starting with the box right here you can see you got your all over brown coloring with the nike on the top you got the add sunshine right here on the lid and then on this side you got your yin yang logo with the nike on the back Back in Nike with the swoosh and then on the side Nike with the swoosh now going to the size tag and then also on the top right here you got the yin yang on the front end you're on the size tag it reads Nike CPFM flea one barley cell desert moss and no this is not a size 13 I was not requesting a pair for me now flipping open the lid of the box first thing you got right here this is something that we saw on the Swarovski pair it was a green bag this time it's kind of like a towel kind of like chenille whatever you want to call it this is like a towel material you have a dust bag and this is all brown with a yin and yang patch right here this is all embroidered patch and then you got just do it right here and a little bit of a different stitch as well and then you got the paper right here so it's got the clouds with the nike air all over it and it's got the cpfm on there and then you got the paper here with the white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay so first impressions of this sneaker <sighs> I don't know if these are for me, but it is what it is. We still gonna do the review. Starting with the bottom of the shoe, you have your classic Nike Dunk outsole. This is like more of a green color or the desert moss, as we may assume. And then on the side ends, this is more of that moss, kind of like you stepped in dirt, mud, whatever you want to call it. Some people says it's like you went hiking and you stepped in a bunch of mud. Other people say it's more of a mossy vibe, like you got moss growing up on the side of like rocks or trees or something like that. At the end of the day, you can decide on what you want to call it. So being that the entire midsole of this shoe is covered in that moss material 360 degrees around the foot let's take it to the upper here you can see a mixture of a different color materials and patterns you got kind of like that nike dunk vibe when it comes to it but it also does remind me of that early 2000s acg hiking boots type vibes with the different colors back in the days and i'm sure they probably still make some to this day but not as with that modern look to it but i think the older school vibes that kind of gives me that giving me i feel like i'm back in you know kind of 2002 or something like that i don't know maybe i'm tripping but i feel like that's kind of what it looks like to me let me know what you think down below now looking at the vamp in the mid panels right here you can see you have your triangular shaped pattern with their embroider lines in between that and this is a very puffy kind of material and honestly every area on this shoe is really puffy even on the area on the arm right here you can see it's really puffy as well now going to the back end around the heel counter you have the yin yang logo right here and then on the right foot this actually doesn't have a swoosh on the outside of the foot just a smaller kind of bluish turquoise green color i don't know whatever color i guess we'll call it green some people i don't know maybe i'm colorblind but either way kind of a green colored swoosh right here and the backward swoosh on this side and then that also color and stitching matches the tongue where it says cpfm and it's got that same swoosh everything on the tongue of the right foot now when you go to the left foot it's going to be a little bit different on the inside of the foot everything's the same but on the outside of the foot right here as you can see you have a white swoosh this is all in a suede material stitched on with a little bit of print on the midsole area 
area. And then just above that, you have the green swoosh as well. And that's also on the inside of the foot on the left foot. Now on the left foot right here, you can see you have an additional set of laces. So basically the laces are a mismatch right here. So you got the brown rope laces with the little yellow hints on there. And then you got more of kind of that earth tone, kind of greenish, grayish, kind of whatever color you want to call it, tan. That's going to be on the inside right here. So basically the two laces that come equipped with the shoes are both already on the shoes. You can just decide to switch if you want to put, you know, both on the same or whatever you decide to do on there. These also have a brown hang tag right here. It says Nike CPFM. And then on the back side, it says, be kind, I'm sensitive. Nike CPFM Flea 1 will age with extended wear and then has a Nike logo on here. So I'm assuming these are supposed to age in some certain type of way. I'm not exactly sure. Now, when it comes to a couple of differences from the left foot and the right foot, essentially throughout the entire foot, besides the whole swoosh thing, you're going to see the same things, but the sock liners and everything like that is going to be what's different on the coloring. So on the left foot right here, you have a Nike branding and it says Nike and it's more of a black color stitch. And then around it, it's kind of got that brown vibe with the satin materials and the mesh on the inside. And this one's more of a green vibe on the right foot with the satin materials and the mesh on the inside. Another thing that I like that they did on these that we saw previously on the Swarovski pair, which I still haven't reviewed for you guys. I need to make a review video for you guys. But on the Swarovski pair, it has the same thing on the insoles. It's got and caught that, that thermal footprint on the insole and it says right foot here. And then on the left foot, it has the same thing with the L on there. So I think that's a nice, cool little touch. Now, that's some more in-depth detailed looks at the sneaker. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention the little pull tab on the back end right here, giving you that real hiking boot vibe. Let's take it back to the office and finish up the video. So after seeing those detailed shots of the shoe, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now, one thing that I can say is they have done a really good job when it comes to materials, overall execution and bringing an idea to life because there is definitely a lot going on and it's hard to put something like this together. Now, some people may say, well, it's easy to do, right? But actually it's not that easy to put something like this together, especially like with the material that we have on the midsole and everything like that. So on that end, when it comes to execution, quality of materials and overall design, I feel like they actually did a really good job. Now, is this the cup of tea that I may want to drink? Maybe not, but I know for some people, this might be something that they actually want in their collection and I'm not mad at them for that. One thing that I can say is Cynthia has definitely been very very creative along her process. And this is an idea that some people may not even be able to think outside the box enough to even create. Now, when it comes to current resale on this shoe, I'm looking online right now and I'm seeing a lot of prices varying between $2,000 to mid $2,000. And obviously, you know, if it's a size 13, it's gonna be worth even more because that's just typically how the game goes right now with any sneaker. So roughly on a size 13, I'm assuming somebody's gonna be asking around $3,000 for a pair of shoes like this. Now that brings the next question. Would somebody be willing to pay that price? I think yes, for a couple reasons. Some people are just gonna want something that's different, something that people just don't even have and something that can stand out. So if you see somebody walking with these down the street, they're gonna be like, oh bro, he's got the CPFM dunks. Whether you may like it or not, they're gonna know that it's something different, something that stands out and it draws people to ask questions or start conversations. And sometimes people purchase shoes for those different reasons. And sometimes people purchase shoes simply because they like them, which kind of draws my next question for you guys. So as you know, on my channel, I typically post a poll asking the people the question, is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? So if you haven't already, follow me on IG so you can participate in those polls and see all the results here on the channel. This is what they said. 38% of the people chose fire and 62% of the people chose trash, which is very interesting, right? Because we have a sneaker that's worth thousands of dollars and to some other people, they don't even want to pay retail for the shoe unless they knew they could resell it. Then sure, they probably would buy the shoe. But if the shoe didn't have a resale value to it, I can guarantee they just wouldn't want to buy it but we can definitely understand this is a very niche sneaker. And I love talking about sneakers like this because again, not everybody likes every single shoe and that is completely fine. It's okay to have something that you like because in a situation like this, the majority says that everybody doesn't like this shoe, but there are people that do like it. And I respect that simply because at the end of the day, we should always buy what we like. And prime example for me right here on the Swarovski CPFM, these right here, I love this shoe and I post fire or trash and not everybody likes this shoe and that's completely fine. Now I get majority do like the shoe, but again, there's gonna be people that don't like it and that's completely fine. I like it, I spend my money on what I wanna buy. So as of right now, Untied LA does have a couple extra pairs. So if you do wanna pick up a pair from them, Make sure you click on the link down below in the description and I got a discount code for you guys 
DNA show. That'll get you free shipping on anything on the website, not just these. But if you're ever purchasing anything from their website, always use the code DNA show for a discount. That way you can at least get free shipping whenever you decide to purchase something. As of right now, there is no set release date on the sneaker. And another thing that a lot of people have been talking about is the sizing of this shoe. Apparently these run about a whole size small. So if you're interested in purchasing this shoe, definitely consider going a full size up simply because I think it's just all the padding and everything that they've done constructing this shoe kind of make the shoe run a little bit smaller because of it. So definitely consider that as well when you're in your purchasing process. Now this isn't a size 13 or 14 for me to test on and try, but I do know people that do have pairs and they have told me the same thing. So I'm making sure I relay that message to you guys. That way when you're in your purchasing process, you know what to do. So this is definitely a lot more laid back video. I just wanted to have a conversation with you guys and see how you felt about it. This is definitely a very interesting sneaker and I'm excited to see what you think down below in the comment section. If you want to see more chill, just sneaker talk videos like this, let me know down below in the comment section let's talk about some weird sneakers and some stuff that's just not super trendy or whatever and just have some conversations appreciate you guys as always see you in another one yo if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side i built a vip mastermind that will teach you everything that i've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years this will also give you access to the dna fam in my vip community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers and don't worry if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite CPFM Nike collaboration. We got forces, we got dunks, we got a couple different dunks. We got a couple different options for you guys. Let me know what you think down below.